I tried to become an artist like a lot of us when I was a kid and I never got very good. Now that I have a daughter who's trying to become an artist too, what advice would you give her to, uh, in the general approach to becoming a very good artist? Well, first of all, she should stay away from artists. They're all a bunch of perverts. <laughs> <laughs> she does, right? Yeah. <laughs>
George Bridgman drawing, uh, gesture of drawing is very good. Uh, it shows you how to loosen up and draw figure works. And uh, I would say stay away from, uh, what was his name, uh, dynamic figure drawing by, uh, uh, what's his name? Hogarth. Hogarth. Yeah, stay away from Hogarth. He sucks. Uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, I used to Bridgman as well. And uh, Loomis. Loomis is also fantastic. <laughs> He's quiet. He's quiet. Uh, and a How to Draw a Marvel Way by John Buscema. Yeah. That was like my Bible growing up. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to draw the Hulk or the Venom play in the brain. Hulk. Oh, Hulk. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> she Hulk. <laughs> I don't like safety. Well, that raises an interesting process question. So you started with the with the bulk of the figure, and you're leaving yourself room to determine which character you're going to cast in there. So could you speak a little bit to um, you know that that decision for the artists in the crowd who you know are confronted with you know just putting their pencil. <laughs> like you left yourself, you left yourself that room. You left yourself that room, and show us, you know, you're starting with room where? Here? Yeah. To decide which character you're going to cast in there. Uh, it's just again, it's, I let the drawing dictate what I, I draw next. Yeah. It sounds kind of, kind of gay, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I started off with full ring, and then I figure out what would look good. Uh, it's it's kind of like it's kind of hard to explain. There's a certain flow. You, you, you once you uh, learn how to draw. There's a certain flow that you can see, and, uh, and try to figure out what position, you know, what pose best fits that space. So actually, I'm going to draw Venom because I've been drawing for a while. Yep, Joe. What is that book called again? George uh, uh, Bridgman. Yeah. Lady up front. Um, what was your favorite um, part of the Shauna. <laughs> <laughs> we have time for a couple more. Yep. Uh, how much do you work from photos, models, other references? Um, <coughs> I mean, first of all, I actually just draw everything freehand first. And then just I go into my reference file and uh, and uh, I'm trying to figure and try to fix the body part. Um, so, just a, a I guess about fifty percent. Uh, as a follow-up question, uh, what is your, what is the the resource you go to the most in terms of a ref, uh, a reference file? A reference file. I always end up looking at naked girls. I don't know why. Just research exactly. And I have two dogs. So I have to lock up my studio. Can I have time for one or two more questions? It's really nice to deal with the hideaway door. <laughs> uh, life drawing. I've actually, I actually am going to do some life drawing um, at a big while. Uh, I'm going to do a life drawing class for uh, uh, for whoever shows up. <laughs> I have a uh, friend of mine, Ivy Doom Kitty. Uh, she models for me, so I basically show people how to get the general uh, anatomy and structure and all that. <laughs> we have time for one more question uh, for Frank. Do we have another one? Yes, lady out there. Well, what, what advice would you get uh, give for like foreshortening of the human body? Like how to draw foreshortening? What advice for drawing foreshortening? Yeah. Uh, this this may sound retarded. <laughs> But well, I actually do uh, kind of do this myself <laughs> when I do for short paint. I mean, so people will think I'm, I'm mad. Uh, but yeah, I actually use uh, myself a lot for reference. Uh, um, 
really awkward when I'm drawing women when I'm using myself. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, uh, yeah, you just fool around with it uh, until it's right. <laughs> There's other ways, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, try to think of all the uh, things in a body as being uh, shapes, right? Uh, so a forearm is like a, a long uh, a tube. No, it's actually more nuanced than that. It's more like a, a ham. Uh, not a ham, but what's it called? A no, no, not, not sausage. It's a. Uh, <laughs> uh, you go uh, to. It's, it's shaped like this. Lamb shape. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 um, you're looking at it along its length, right? And uh, the things that are closer to you are going to be longer, and the further you get away, I don't even know who I'm talking to, I'm just like, okay, sorry. Uh, as you get further away, the objects get shorter and shorter, okay? With life. So, you're going to do the hand, you're going to do the arm, okay? There's that. Okay, elbow, bicep, shoulder, okay, so that's. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can actually go a little bit more as you go. This is the hard one.